This course is split up into three phases. The first phase is actually setting up our environment. We'll be installing the Java JDK. We'll be installing Apache Maven. We'll be set up the system variables for both Java and Apache Maven. We'll be downloading and setting up Eclipse the correct way because the actual task can be quite tricky. So I'm going to show you the correct way to set up Eclipse. We're going to be downloading and installing TestNG to Eclipse. We'll be downloading and installing the relevant Cucumber add-ons for Eclipse. We're going to add some visual enhancements add-ons to Eclipse to make it look more visually appealing. And finally, for the setup module, we're going to download Chrome Browser and also download Chrome Driver, which is required to can execute our tests against Chrome Browser. In phase two, we're going to look at what exactly is Maven. We're going to be creating and setting up a simple Maven project. We're then going to look at what exactly is a POM file and why we should use a POM file. And then finally, we're going to look at important Maven commands. And the final phase is phase three. We're going to be looking at all the key components of Cucumber. We can look at the Gherkin language. We're going to create a feature file. We're then going to link that feature file with a specific step definition class. And then finally, we're going to create a runner class, which will enable us to develop advanced reports and in turn attach exception images into our reports. So this is going to be a very, very important module because it purely focuses on the key components of Cucumber. So to rerun through that again, we're going to look at Gherkin, which is a language used to create feature files. We're then going to link Selenium code with our feature files by creating a step definition class. And then finally, we're going to create a runner class which will enable us to develop advanced reports.